Hello, my beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this video. Welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sadie J TV. Thank you all for all the love and support you show my channel. To my new subscribers, thank you and welcome to our family. And to my old subscribers, y'all know we're right here, right? Okay, today I have a rather... It's more than a medium Dollar Tree haul, but less than a large. I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to jump right into it, okay? Without further ado, welcome back, everyone. Let's jump right into it. Okay, my sweets. I think I'm going to try to do the food items first because I think they're on the top. But the first thing I got was a loaf of bread. I went grocery shopping and... The breads in the grocery store, they're just too big for me. This is like the perfect, perfect loaf of bread for my household. So, of course, I had to swing by the Dollar Tree and get me a bag of my gold medal bakery white bread, 16 ounces, um, fresh through August 28th. And you know, again, I always say, put it in your refrigerator if you want it to last longer, but I like my bread to be room temperature so I was happy to find one that was far further out so I did get that for y'all know what does Michelle say five quarters <laughs> and I'm going to get this stuff over here and I'll be right back okay my sweets the first thing I'm going to show you is repurchase these are the Campbell's pork and beans um, a family classic for over a hundred years these are the larger cans um, 19.75 ounces, one pound, 3.75 um, ounces. And you have to, when you go into the Dollar Tree, typically the smaller can is right next to the larger can. But I always go for the larger cans and they have the pop tops now. So I really, really enjoy. I did get two of these, but I used one already. And I love these pork and beans, especially when I make my mother's um, goulash. This uh, is June 15th, 2025. So they're great items to put in your pantry to have for, you know, whenever you need. So I got those. And I'm going to bend down because I'm putting stuff in a bag down here. Because y'all don't know it. When I'm done with these hauls, I put everything away right away so I can get ready for my next haul, okay? <laughs> I also picked up another bottle of Kraft um, Slow Simmered Hickory Smoke Barbecue Sauce. This is good until July 20th of 2024. And I'm always looking on the back trying to find the best sugar um, content. I really, really like that brown sugar one. But honey, it's loaded with sugar. But I went with this one. Usually I just get the original. But I said, let me try the um, Hickory Smoked one. Because I want to make some ribs eventually. So I got this one. And I said it is a 1 pound, 1.5 ounce bottle. Normal size bottle that you get in the grocery store. So I got that. And I picked up another one of my peanut butter in the creamy ones. Because I figured like the honey one was just a tad too sweet for me. <clears throat> when I make my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <clears throat> Excuse me y'all. With the jelly and the honey peanut butter, it was just a little too sweet for me. So I just went back to just the regular peanut butter. This is the creamy 10 ounce and it's best by May 8th, 2024. So yeah, I'm just going to stick to the regular one because yeah, they all have sugar in them, but the honey one had just a little bit more. This is four grams of sugar per, um, what is it? Tablespoon usually. Yeah. Oh, for two um, tablespoons. So that's not that bad. It doesn't bother me when I have a peanut butter and jelly with just the plain peanut butter. But when I have it with that honey peanut butter, it's just entirely too sweet for me. And I don't even put a lot of jelly on my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So, anywho, moving right along. <laughs> I did go back to my local store when I showed you guys in a previous walkthrough that they had the Pantry Basics. Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, <laughs> all-purpose seasoning. They had it one day, and the next day, it was gone. 
So I had to go over to my small Dollar Tree. Well, I didn't have to, but while I was over at my smaller Dollar Tree, they had some. So I picked it up. This is a 10-ounce bottle. And they also have the big bottle of the soy sauce by Pantry Basic. I don't eat a lot of soy sauce. So um, this is 10 ounces. And oh, it's in the bottle. Dag on it. This is Best Buy, November 14th, 2024. So that'll be good for a while. Next time I make my turkey meatloaf, I'll have my Worcestershire sauce. Okay, moving right along. Okay, my sweets. I used up all of my pepperoni, and they have been restocking most of the Dollar Trees that I've been frequenting. Uh, frequenting. Okay. And so they have them on clip strips. They have them sometimes in the refrigerator. It depends. But I re-upped on two more of the Hormel pepperoni. I put one in the freezer and one on the refrigerator door. So when I want to make any dish that I want to add pepperoni um, to, I, I will have one defrosted. But you can take these right out of the freezer and use them immediately. And they're just fine. So you don't really have to... Um, put them in the freezer but this is prepared or freeze by December 13th 2023 so yeah they'll go in the freezer yep same thing prepare or freeze by December 12th 2023 so y'all know if you get two packs in here this is a really really good deal for a dollar 25 in my personal opinion okay I digress. <laughs> I found another different kind of, I don't know what we call these. Um, this is a teriyaki Jack Link's classic tender style meat strip. I don't know if I saw these before y'all. You know, you go to so many Dollar Trees, things just become a big blur after a while. But this looked interesting. It says it's seasoned and slow cooked chopped and formed cups cuts of pork and beef and it is a eight point oh no excuse me 0 0.8 ounce um package and it's best by june 6 2024 and it looks like this the teriyaki i don't remember seeing this before i've been buying a lot of these but you know i haven't been eating them they're just kind of sitting in there but this looked like a strip of bacon to me <laughs> so yeah i'll eat some bacon okay so i said i would give it a try especially since it had the teriyaki um they had one that was like really really hot they had another one that was extremely hot okay so i did pick that up and getting into the sweets, I got another bag of my Super Mario um, Oreo cookies with Super Mario on it. And I ate these cookies, y'all. These cookies were delicious. It was almost like they tasted so fresh, okay, so crunchy. I'm like, wow, don't sleep on these Oreo cookies, okay? I know you only get six in here. But that's all I need, okay? I don't even need the whole six. So, you know, they are delicious. So if you see them in your store and you like Oreo cookies, get yourself some, y'all. Get yourself. And then I saw another one of my favorite cookies. And y'all know, I don't show you a lot of cookies because I don't eat a lot of cookies. But there are some cookies that I just grew up on and they're just my all-time favorite. And this is one of those Nutter Butter the peanut butter lovers cookie <laughs> you get uh it says it's a king size you get eight cookies per pack it's a 3.5 ounce um package and the best buy is really 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 tiny on here um let me see if i have to put my specs on i should have looked before i came on but um it's somewhere on here I'll put it in a video when I find it because I can't read that small little writing. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry. It is Best Buy December of 2023. So it looks like this. You get eight cookies. Love, love, love. Me some Nutter Butters. Peanut butter cookies. So I did get one pack of those. I'm not supposed to be eating all this sugar, y'all. My weight is going up. But you know what? It's too much. It's just too much. <laughs> it's just too much in life. <laughs> I just can't control it right now. I don't know what's going on. But anywho, moving right along, I saw the last time I hauled a bag of um, lollipops, 
the Charms Lollipops. I told you guys that I really love the blue ones. They were like my favorite. But these aren't, are they Charms? Yeah, these are Charms, right? Um, well, no, they're not saying Charms. They're just saying Blue Raspberry Blow Pops. Best Buy, May 2025. I think you get like five lollipops in here. It's saying it is a 3.28 ounce, and they're just one bag of the Blue Raz. I put one in my pocketbook again, and when I went on the road, yes ma'am, when I got hungry, I just popped the lollipop in my mouth, and it satiated my hunger until I was able to get home. Of course, by the time I got home and checked my sugar, boop, it was through the roof, but from one lollipop, y'all, one lollipop but these are good i do see why all these lollipops have suddenly appeared at the dollar tree because when you're you know enjoying them they are very rigid they have pieces of lollipop on the outside some of them have the bubble gum sticking out from the side of them so if you give these to your children be very very careful because they can cut their mouths their tongues etc etc so it explains to me why they are you know flooding the dollar tree all of a sudden with all the lollies so i'm just saying y'all i'm just saying i didn't have to tell y'all that but you know if you're giving them to your kids because i was giving them to my niece okay but she's 10 years old she could deal with it okay all right next item coming up Okay, my sweets, I have a pantry full of coconut. I think I have one of every kind that the Dollar Tree has sold this year for 2023, but I couldn't resist. I had to get this bag because it said Tropical Sweetened Coconut Fancy Flake. It's a seven ounce bag of, co of tropi Tropical Coconut, and it's best if used by June 6, 2024. And I love to make the um, marshmallow ambrosia with the mandarin oranges and the coconut. I love to make that. So I'm hoping I'll get a chance to actually use this particular one to make my homemade um, ambrosia. So tropical, sweetened. I don't know who it's by. Non-GMO. Um, doesn't really tell you who it's by. Oh, Red V Foods. Um... Hervius Boulevard, Beaufort, Georgia. Okay. Okay. So, it's like that. We got that. And then I found these a long, long time ago down in one of my road trips. It might have been Emporia, Burlington, somewhere. It was one of the larger stores that I had traveled well over an hour. And I found these. And I purchased them. And they were really, really good. And then we finally got them here to my local store, and I bought a couple of bags. But, um, yeah, these are really tasty. These are Chicago American Chicago Caramel and Cheddar Popcorn. It's a three-ounce bag, and it is Best Buy, November 24th, 2023. So they've restocked these at my local um, Dollar Tree. As a matter of fact, I've seen them in most of the Dollar Trees that I've gone to in the last couple of days. So... But they are really, really good. I only picked up one bag because I know, you know, I'll probably pass it over to my neighbor because I found some more of my favorite, the Uts, the cheese puffin' corn. So these are the soft and melty cheddar cheese. And I love these. They're four ounce bag. But like I told you guys before, it's a full bag. You know, it's not all the air in there. It's like it's that much air in this bag. And they are so delicious. They sell out so fast in all the stores when they stock them, you know. And they keep restocking them, and they just sell right out. So, I'm not the only one, obviously, that likes them. And the best buy for this is December 11th, 2023. And, yes. So, I'll probably pass the popcorn over to my neighbor across the hall if my sister doesn't want it. And I found some more of my Pure Kick um, Strawberry Watermelon and Citrus. And these are both Hydrate. I love the Hydrates. The Energy ones, I don't really need to be um, drinking them. So I kind of passed. But that daggone Erica Fuller doing her Dollar General hauls had me jumping up, running to go to my Dollar General to see if I could find some of the fall um, 
motif for a dollar. And I did. But they have these at the Dollar General for a dollar. So if you really like these Pure Kicks, and they had different uh, flavors. So that might be coming up later on in a Dollar General haul. But um, yeah, I think I did get two. And the strawberry one from the Sun Kiss, I think, that we get at the Dollar Tree. They were only a dollar. So, yeah, we'll discuss that in a later video. But for the moment, I got the um, strawberry watermelon hydrate and the citrus hydrate. And this is Best Buy May 2025. And this is Best Buy June 2025. So, May and June 2025. Love, love, love these, okay? Really been... Um, Making my tonic water last a lot longer. I haven't been drinking as much tonic water because I'm going back and forth between the two. And when I was sharing that love overboard, love, love, love overboard mail from my girl Pamela, I told you guys in that video that I had just gone out that day and bought two more of my uh -huh, bourbon, bourbon vanilla coffee. So I will not have to purchase any more coffee for a while, okay? Because I have plenty. These are good. Oh, these are extended. These are Best Buy July 5th, 2024. So these are going the back. I got to put these in the back of all of them so I don't use those first. Because the other ones, I think, are until May. So I got two of those, okay? Y'all, y'all remember the little boy off of Home Alone? Ah, I want, hope you guys don't mind me interrupting this Dollar Tree haul because I've got some goodies to show you. But I want to show you this beautiful Love Overboard mail from my beautiful friend, Laura. I will put all her information in this video. She lost her mother right after I lost my mom and she just recently lost her brother okay so you guys if you don't mind you'll go over and subscribe to her channel if you like her content and tell her sweet Sadie J sent you but when y'all see this stuff that she sent me I am so blown away I'm so blown away I can't I just can't comprehend all this beautiful kindness but we're going to start with a gorgeous, gorgeous card. Isn't that pretty? It looks almost like she made it. Isn't that gorgeous? It just says Sadie. Oh, why did my mother name me Sadie? <laughs> oh, it says, thinking of you. Oh, my God, Laura, it's so beautiful. Oh, what's in here? Oh, she has some scriptures in here. You will show me the pathway to life to abounding joy in your presence. Psalm 1611. Hope your day is happy and bright. Love always, Laura. And then she put something inside. So I'm going to see if I can read it real quick. And she's starting to make me sweat already because y'all know my heart just like boom, 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 boom. Okay. Oh, it's on one of the little books that I got. Kind words are like honey. Proverbs 1624. Okay, it says, Hi, Sadie. I hope all is well with you and yours. I hope that you like what's in the box. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> there are some bead decor for your collab if it's not over. Thank you for supporting my channel. Stay blessed, my friend. Love always, Laura. Oh, Miss Laura, you're making me break out into a sweat. Where's my fan? Lord, have mercy. You guys are really really killing me you know that oh my god okay let's jump right into this because this video is already going to be too long this is beautiful she sent me another one of the um jewelry boxes in the white with the um bumblebee on it isn't that cute this can go into the bee collab oh i think i put a gold one in there so that one will be for me she sent me one of these led lanterns in the white and my store just got these laura can you believe that? And they got them in different colors. So this one is in the white. If you could see how it's lit right in there. It's litty, y'all. It's litty. <laughs> I think it might be a flasher. No, LED lantern. 
This is gorgeous. Thank you, Miss Laura. I love it. Love it. Love it. I'm trying to put everything right back in the box, okay? This I already put in the B collab, but I'd be more than happy to send this as a gift to someone. This is the shadow box that says be blessed. Y'all know how I feel about that. I do believe I have one already. If I don't, I'll just put it with my B stash. But I love the shadow boxes like this, okay? Then she sent me this gorgeous, gorgeous purple butterfly composition book. And I've seen these many times, Miss Laura, and walked right past them. I mean, I saw them. I looked. I stopped and looked, but I didn't buy any. Because I haven't needed a composition book in years. But thank you. I will definitely put it to good use. Oh, my God. She sent me another bag of the um, Charms Blow Pops lemonade stand. Wasn't I just talking about these? <laughs> I love them. They are Best Buy 525. So these are good. We'll go right over there in a candy dish. Then she sent me things that just blew me away. Now when I pre-opened the box, I saw that she had put some things in there and Miss Pamela duplicated. Well, Pamela, I got Pamela's first, so Miss Laura duplicated it. But I got enough now. But she sent me this really, really cute pic which could go on a reef. I could take these off or just use it for my um, my decoration. Just says berry pick. It looks like it's from Mainstay. So that's a Walmart item. Very, very pretty. Love those colors. And look, y'all, two more foxtails. <laughs> Foxtail bush. I got one in the beige and one in the white. And I have to just lay something heavy on them because they were curled up to fit into the box. But I can't believe... Great minds think alike. Pamela, Laura, y'all are so sweet. I was on a hunt for those foxtail bushes. And the worst part about it was I saw them when they first came out. And I looked at them, I examined them, and then I left them. Okay, a few more items in this Love Overboard mail, y'all. And then we'll go back into the Dollar Tree haul. Oh, Miss Laura, Miss Laura, Miss Laura. How, how did you know? These are items that I thought I would never, ever see at the Dollar Tree. Matter of fact, I had completely forgotten about them because that's how it is. When you don't get the same things as everyone else, Dollar Tree is constantly cracking out stuff so you forget about it. But one of the items that I thought I would never see was any of the Birch and Vine items in the B. Look what she sent me, y'all. A candle holder in the B and you know you can paint this or do whatever you want you know or just leave it the way it is and it's a birch and vine I saw her video when she got the birch and vine stuff in her store and I was just so jelly so jelly okay <laughs> it passes it's just it's fleeting it doesn't stay long but look at this one now nobody's getting this one Miss Laura this is another birch and vine item the bumblebee, and I'm not touching it. I love the color just the way it is. And it is a birch and vine. Oh my God. I love these little wall hooks, Miss Laura. I hang my little scrunchies, my scarves. I hang so many things off these little hooks that we get from the Dollar Tree. They're all over my bathroom, my bedroom. They really do come in handy as long as you don't put anything heavy on it. But look. Thank you, thank you, Laura. Oh my God, I love these. But y'all just wait. I have searched high and low, low and high for just one, just one of the B magnets for the refrigerator or wherever you like to put your magnets. Look what she sent me. I have not found any. I have not seen them anywhere. This one just says, welcome to our hive. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's the magnet. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Miss Laura. I love it. No one's getting this because I wanted. They had like four or five different ones out. And we didn't get them. Our store didn't get them. Okay. Moving right along. These are the cutest the cutest and i see she left the tag on so they came from dollar general but at first i saw this little red bird 
Oh my God, these are going into my fall motif somehow, some way, Miss Laura. And then the little bluebird. Oh my God, look at that. And they are, they were a dollar at the Dollar General. Miss Laura, these are so cute. That daggone Erica's got me running to the Dollar General, and I'm probably going to have to go a little bit more because I like that dollar side, okay? I really, really did. I love that dollar side, and I was like, wow. <laughs> so, Miss Laura, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Y'all know what this red bird represents, right? Okay, we ain't going to do that today, all right? No, no, no. But look, y'all, wait until you see the next two items she sent me. Again, never thought in a million years that I would see these ever. And they came from the Dollar Tree. Okay. Okay, my sweets. This is the Prep Solution four-piece level it measuring spoons with the um, leveler, the built-in leveler. I never, ever thought I would see this ever. Okay, because stuff like this just doesn't come to our Dollar Tree. And if it does, the employees will scoop it all up. They really do do that, y'all. But this is the little leveler right up here, if you can see that. And then you have your regular measurements with your tablespoon, teaspoon, etc., etc. In the green and gray. Oh, Miss Laura, thank you so much. And I could just hang that right up on my wall. Then she sent me the cup one, y'all. Look at that. <gasps> with the leveler. Oh, my God. I cannot believe she did this. These are so well made. They're plastic. Look at that. <gasps> oh, wow. Miss Laura, thank you. Thank you so much. This is going to come in so handy. And this one doesn't have a ring on it, but I can just put a ring on it. Or you could just hook it right here by the handle. But isn't that nice? <gasps> oh, my God. Y'all, y'all are killing me. Lord, Miss Laura, thank you. Thank you so very much. Okay, my sweets. We're coming into this home stretch. This is another card from my girl, Leslie Blue. This is my sweet Williams mommy, okay? And she sent me a gift and... I don't know, out of the blue, but we're going to open this card because she got all the cute little um, Hello Kitties. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Psalm 2, 27, 1, and love with the ladybug. Isn't that cute? Oh my God, I'm missing my nails, you guys. All right, let me see if I can get this open without ripping my stickers. Let's see what Leslie's up to. Leslie, what are you doing, girl? What are you doing? I'm hoping you watch this video. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, boy. See, y'all trying to make me cry again. The card is so beautiful. It says, he has made everything beautiful in his time. Ecclesiastics 3.11. And she's got underlined, he made everything be beautiful. So it looks like this with all this jewelry on it. Isn't that gorgeous? And it looks like that. And it's a day spring card. Inside she has stickers on this side that says, Believe you can and you are halfway there. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Philippians 4, 6. And then she wrote me a little love note. But the card itself says, May you have grace to press on wisdom to guide your steps, and faith to see beyond the circumstances to the one who is cultivating beauty in your life. Absolutely, Leslie. Absolutely. Hello, my beautiful sis. I hope you are doing well. This is from William's Baptism and Keepsake. We love you. May God continue to bless you always. Big hug, XOXO. Love always, Leslie Blue, XOXO. Friendship never ends. Oh my God, y'all! <laughs> I'm trying. I'm telling you, y'all be trying to make me um cry. So my sweet William got baptized, and she sent me this beautiful, beautiful little card with a keychain on it. Y'all, oh my God! Thank you for celebrating with us. Oh my God, I gotta send you a card. This is a. Uh, let me see if I can get it so you guys can see it. Let me turn it this way. This is a little angel charm. Isn't that pretty? It's a keychain. 
Let me see if we can get this to focus. Focus, focus, focus. So it looks like this. And the card, because my sweet Williams got baptized. And then she has, is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing praise. James 5.13. That was today's daily bread, Leslie. <laughs> Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. Isaiah 41.10. So she sent me these beautiful little encouraging cards that I will put inside my Bible. And this one, oh, thank you, Leslie. So beautiful. Then she sent me some more cards. It says, the Lord fights your battles. Deuteronomy 24. Absolutely. I don't have the strength to fight him. I am not equipped. Only God is. He turns my darkness into light. 2 Samuel 22 through 29. Absolutely gorgeous and purple. <laughs> Almost purple. And then she just sent me a beautiful card that says, You matter with the heart on it. Isn't that beautiful? And the feast of all the feasts. <laughs> she sent me this beautiful, beautiful. Oh my God. Look at this, y'all. The Busy Bee Company. <laughs> It's like a chalkboard background. Oh my God. The, look, the little um, honeycomb is down here. The bee right there. And then she wrote on the back of it, To Sadie, we love you. Leslie Blue, Billy, and William. Oh my God. One count wood sign. And you can hang it up right here. And it will definitely get hung up somewhere. Leslie, this is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Laura, Leslie, I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you so very much. All right, my sweets. Let's jump back into this Dollar Tree haul. Okay, my sweets. I'm back. I had to take a drink because I get all choked up when you guys shower me with all that love. But the first item I'm going to show you, <clears throat> excuse me, is the 20% bonus can of scrub-free bathroom cleaner with foaming action. The only reason I bought this, you guys, was because it said it, it was with foaming action. And they have a lot of um, Dollar Tree items in the store right now that are bonus size. So you might want to get on it because sh what does Michelle say? Shrinkflation is real. It's real out there. So this is a 12 ounce can. It looks the same to me. I don't see where it's uh, a bonus 20% uh, more, but this is what this one looks like. And you know, you can never be without um, bathroom cleaner. So they had starch, they had oven cleaner, they had regular bathroom cleaner. They had so many bonus ones out there, but this was the only one I, cho I chose. And I like that lime green. I don't know, that green just, you know, it mesmerized me so I got that and I went to the store down in Virginia and they had a whole shelf full of Dawn dish detergent and I did not get it because I figured my store had it right mm -mm. I came back to my store and they didn't have any of the Dawn so I just picked up a 25% free that's what it says palm olive essential just the original clean this is 16 fluid ounce it looks like the same size that we normally get, but they want to make make you think you're getting 25% more for free. But dish detergent is dish detergent. My, my preference is Dawn, but if it's not available, then I just get what they have. So I've got one of those, okay? Sorry, I gotta keep bending down, but the bag is down there and my table is full. We love overboard mail, so okay. The next item I found was this Lady's Choice Tropical Escape. This is pineapple and coconut scent body spray, and it's a two ounce um, can. And I'm sure my sister, my sister Nettie will like this. Either her or Felicia, they, they like the Dollar Tree body sprays. I didn't pick any up today, and I saw quite a few of them, but this was the only one I saw on the particular day that I did this shopping. Well, you know, when you smell it too quick, it just smells like alcohol. 
Yeah, it smells okay to me. Yeah, it smells pretty nice. My sister Nettie or my sister Felicia will like this. So it's coconut and pineapple is what they said. Pineapple, pineapple and coconut scent. So this is the only one I've seen so far, Ladies' Choice. So I grabbed that for them. I should have grabbed two. I don't know what, what I was thinking. And I didn't see that at all today when I went on the road. I also found the um, Home Glow apple currant this is another one of those small little cans of room spray it's like 1.5 fluid ounces of um the home glow i remember i found this one first this cat made it to my store the tahitian sunset this made it to my store but this one didn't so i found this one down in virginia i believe at the south hills um dollar tree so it looks like that so I got them both now so I'm happy I use this in my bathroom and I just spray it in my bathroom and then you can smell it, it smells good you know it smells really really nice let me put that over here and then I bought some foliage because I got another order for a wreath and she wants pink and pink and white but she wanted pink roses on it so I bought one little um, bush of roses the pink roses these are so cute they were a lot of them were smashed like this one right here i really had to look through them i don't know how they box these up they just pile them on top of each other but hopefully that'll be the last one i use or i won't use it at all but she wants roses around it so i gotta put these on there and then i saw these a while ago on someone else's channel and i can't remember who it was but these are the like tall maple leaves and they had it in the orange color looks like this and it's the long stick this is going to really really accentuate my floral arrangements you know if i don't take them apart and use them on a reef but i plan on using them in an arrangement so i found the orange ones this is a little bent in and they're just calling them maple leaves yep maple leaves so I got the orange one, and then I got the yellow and orange one. Aren't they pretty? Look how tall they are, y'all. This is how they look. So you can really, really do something fancy schmancy with them. So they finally made it to my local Dollar Tree. That's where I found them at, so I grabbed them, okay? Okay, I showed you guys when I purchased the Dixie um, 100-count forks and spoons and the only reason why I got those was because my girl Jackie hooked me up because they never made it to the shelf of my local Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. Y'all know why, right? But I was down in South Hills not too long ago and all they had was the knives. So I finally got the complete set and I'm satisfied now. Y'all know how we get something in our crawl and we can't let it go. And it's not like we can't let it go. It's just like if you see it, you're going to grab it, which is what I do. But I finally found 100 count. I found them before, but they were open. People had been, you know, tampering with them and I don't need them that bad. Okay, so I finally found the 100 count Dixie Knives. Now, what am I going to do with all this stuff? Eh, something will come up, you know. And I found this. I had purchased this. These are my favorite pans from the Dollar Tree. The round, the big round ones, the cake pans. But this one is um, the Jiffy Foil Square Cake Pan and Lid. And I use these for my brownies, you know, when I make my brownies because they come with that nice. First of all, the foil tin is really, really nice and sturdy. And it's a brand name. It's Jiffy. Okay. And then it comes with the lid. So I don't have to worry about putting a cover up or, you know, foil. So you can just cover your brownies or your cake up, you know, with the lid. I love these. And come the holiday, I will be picking up more of these and also the round ones that I normally get. Because you can cook anything in these. I've cooked meat in these. I've done all kinds of pasta dishes in these. So they're not just for cakes or brownies. So because of their sturdiness, they're so well made that you can cook real food in them. So I just picked up one because I was supposed to be making brownies with my niece, but we were so busy running around, I never got a chance. And then I, I'm going to try my best to sneak this toy to her. I hope her mother's not watching. 
<laughs> because I found this new twisty beads. It's a sensory toy. It's ASMR. It's like for ages three plus, and it's supposed to be stress relief puzzle chain. So you can make rings, butterflies, box, phone stand. Oh, what did that say? Block and tree out of this. If it's kind of like a Rubik's cube where you can make these little decorations or little shapes and stuff, and it's supposed to be a stress reliever. So I didn't even see that. I just saw it as a toy and I grabbed it because I was like, I've never seen it. So it's got all the different colors, purple, blue, red, orange, and yellow. And I just thought it was so cute. It's actually got two different colors of yellow. So I could see that. So, but yeah, I just thought it was so cute. And I'm going to try to sneak it to my niece <laughs> without her mother knowing. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get it to her, but I will. And then I told you guys when I was opening Miss Pamela's um, Love Overboard Mail, and she had a whole, what was it, 35-pack uh, stick of gum. I had just purchased these two down in South Hill in Virginia. So I will have gum for a while. It's not going to go to waste because I need my gum. Everywhere I go, I got to have my gum. So I got that. And the last few items coming up, you guys, I'm sorry the video is so long, but I had to get that Love bo love Overboard mail out because it's been sitting here. And when people take the time to send me beautiful gifts for no reason, absolutely no reason, I have to share the news, okay? So coming up, the last few items. Okay, my sweets. I found these down in South Hills as well. This is a, like just, it looks like it's just repackaged to me. It's a green briar product. It's just paper towels. It's a hundred two ply sheets, but Erica just schooled me on the, what is it? Ooh, big mopper at the Dollar General. And I think you get more than a hundred for only a dollar, or even if it's just a hundred, they're only a dollar. And I saw them today, but I knew I had already bought these, so I did not buy them. But when I go and need paper towels again for my bathroom, I'm going to Dollar General. But anywho, this is what they look like. This is just a different package, y'all. I looked at it, examined it in the store. I'm like, okay, it's strong and absorbent. It's 102 ply sheets, big roll, <laughs> and it's a green briar product out of Chesapeake, Virginia. In Canada, it's got green briar and Chanel. Oh, okay, that's where they are. But yeah, so this is what the package looks like. And I just grabbed two because anytime I see new packaging, at least paper towels in the Dollar Tree, wink, wink, they ain't fooling nobody. <laughs> I just feel the need to purchase it. But I always use these in my bathroom so they will not go to waste. I got a grocery haul coming up. You guys will see where I always get my regular paper towels for my kitchen. Okay, the last two items for today, my sweets, is what you saw in the thumbnail. And I was on the hunt looking for something else, and I came across this. This is Norita Quick and Easy Takatusu Ramen. It's miso pork flavor, okay? It's artificially flavored. It says, separate chili packet inside if you like spicy. Add your favorite toppings. Serving suggestions is uh, 2.6 ounces. And it's just a bowl of ramen, but it's pork. And I don't ever remember seeing pork in the Dollar Tree. But this is best before May 25, 2025. And it looks like this. So I never saw that name. Not, what is it? Night... Norita, Norita, okay, and it's pork, and then if you have down here, there's a little packet in here that looks like that, if you like spicy, okay, so I found that, and I mean, I have a pantry full of ramen, but I love ramen, okay, so I don't eat it every day, I don't eat it every week, so I just like to have it in there, and it's got a long shelf life, you know, and you can cut that sodium if you don't put the seasoning in it. But I think the only one that's in here is the spicy one. But anywho, it was new to me, so I got one. 
just one because y'all know I don't really do the spicy stuff. But this I will try, okay? Because this was an awesome buy. Unfortunately, it has a very close shelf life, but I think if you put it in the refrigerator, it'll be fine after you open it. This is a 22 fluent ounce, one pound, one pint, six fluent ounce of craft mayo buffalo style dressing. And it says hot. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> okay. It's spicy, tangy, dippable, delicious. And it looks like this. And I can't even remember where I found this at because I saw it in a couple of stores. So I don't know which one I found it at, but you see the chicken sandwich. You know, I was wondering if it tasted more like the McDonald's sauce, but when I saw the hot and they, that's all they had, they did not have any mild. They just had hot. Okay, but this is a big mamma jamma and it is sealed. So I was happy about that, but I still was curious as to smell it. I hope this stuff doesn't pop out on me. Let's see if we can open this because I'm going to put it right in the refrigerator. Of course, it never wants to work by the seal thing. That's probably one of the reasons why it's here. <laughs> I'm always so cynical when it comes to good stuff coming to the Dollar Tree because, whoo. It doesn't, yeah, you could, I think I could get with that, y'all. I think I could do that. Let me taste. Oh, my hands are clean. Hmm. Oh, here comes the heat. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Here Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's hot, y'all. <clears throat> <laughs> Woo! Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. But it's good. <clears throat> but it gets you right there in the back of your throat. So if you like spicy, you're going to love this. Me, myself, and I would probably use this very, very sparingly because I do like spicy like I tell y'all all the time, but spicy just don't like me, so... It'll go down real nice and easy and smooth, but lighter, honey. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. It'll be a war zone down there, okay? A war zone. <laughs> but this is, if you like it, spicy. If you can find it in your Dollar Tree, good luck with it. But thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone, for allowing me to include that Love Overboard meal in this video. Thank you, Miss Laura. Thank you, Leslie. Both of you ladies know how much I truly love you, okay? But love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J. <sighs> Coming back at you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Sweet Sadie J. Coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very, very much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a blessed day. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend.